Today we will work on the root patterns. Listen. Today we will start working on the root pattern. Let me define root pattern. The mental pattern which you create about you and the way you project and about the life and world during the disempowering powerless moments which repeats continuously in your life and runs through your life listen i'll repeat the thought pattern the idea the statement you make about you and about how you are going to project you to others and about life and world during the disempowering moment extreme powerless moment which repeats itself in you again and again is root pattern let me expand three word mamakara means the inner image mamakara means inner image ahankara means your outer image swa anyakara understand third word i am introducing swa anyakara means your image about life and others for example like life is always out there to get me everyone is there to cheat me listen today we will deepen our experience deepen our understanding about our mamakara and also discover how our mama ahankara please understand we will deepen our understanding about inner image actual inner image and also discover why our actual outer image is the way it is all of us know we have a outer image ahankara but we don't know why we built it in such a way the way it is it is like a why you do things the way you do things why you project you the way you project you we will discover that now and swa anyakara which is our image about others and life how this ahankara and swa anyakara took shape please listen all of you are able to understand what i am saying first thing you need to know all three happens simultaneously listen listen i give you the example once when your brother was beating you as a 3 year old child the mamakara will be i am weak power 
less the ahankara will be i am powerful i will not allow anybody to attack me and swa anyakara means your image about others and life is life is there out only to torture me i am always tortured that is swa anyakara all of you are able to get it all of you are able to cognize what i am saying the difference between the three inner image outer image you are image about life please listen first thing you need to know you are mamakara you are ahamkara you are swa anyakara in english you are inner image outer image you are image about life all these three are intertwined they arise together as one that's the first thing you need to know second at a vulnerable intense incomplete moment of the past when you are really in this you feel you are facing the survival threat completely powerless you are mamakara means your inner image arises out of disempowering cognition and took shape in you means your inner image will be always disempowering you how many of you cognize what i am saying your inner image will be always disempowering you it is your mother in law sitting inside you permanently constantly nagging listen this moment when you are faced with a perceived survival threat you create inner image along with this disempowering cognition you got about yourself two things will happen simultaneously <coughs> listen see when you create a disempowering cognition about you <coughs> inner image two things will happen simultaneously at the same time you also got disempowering cognition about others and life and you also projected an artificially built pseudo empowered image about you to others that is what is ahankara listen one of the biggest problem i face is for this whole concept i cannot give you from my personal experience i don't have a single i, I tried my best even once i have not felt powerless from the birth now the biggest problem is because of that i am not able to give you ex- my personal life experience but i think all of you are able to understand am i right all of you are able to understand listen when you got a disempowering inner image about you you create a pseudo empowered image about you for survival sake and project that to the world understand artificially built up pseudo empowered image about you to others it is like a you create one and get two free <laughs> the 
inner image you create and your image about others and life and the image you project to others this too you get free all of you understand see you do not relate with the world the same inner image you created about you do you relate with the world no even yesterday 80% of you did not introduce yourself with the actual inner image even if you say yes sir i am a failure talking to you then immediately you change and tell your other name your ahankara and try to know about their ahankara even for one hour in one session you don't want to relate with the world with which is actually you are carrying from your literally from your birth maybe from the age of 3 or 4 from the time you know about you this is the first word you know about you am i right mamakara is the inner image is the first word you know about you from the time you know about you till now you never relate with the people world with what you feel as you tell me with integrity and authenticity how many of you yesterday honestly did not relate with everyone with your actual inner image and went on flip flopping raise the hand no i can tell you 80% because if you go with the real actual inner image there will not be a place for laughing joking around socializing here is a fool standing and and here is a failure a failure is shaking hands with a fool what socializing can happen there understand now yesterday's session is a failure it did not create the right impact so because one critical mass did not do it with integrity and authenticity the other group also lost the respect for the process yesterday's process is a failure because people you guys are not in the listening mode please understand alternative compensating cognition listen i am throwing a big word alternative compensating cognition you build about you to others is ahankara alternative compensating cognition are you getting it it's a key word if you want to note down now whoever wants alternative compensating cognition all right now please drop the pen and paper please listen carefully in order to survive and escape from the perceived confrontation and suffocation a perceived confrontation and suffocation that you had in an intense com- incomplete moment of your past when you felt the survival threat in completion please understand in order to survive and escape from that suffocation and confrontation intense incomplete moment in your past in order to escape from that cognition which left you in deep incompletion you grabbed and held to an alternative compensating cognition all of 
you are able to cognize what I am saying? Anybody, if you are not able to cognize, please raise your hand so that I will explain. All right. Can anyone come and explain the incident from which you got your root pattern? Can you come to the mic? Uh, Swamiji, this was when I was around uh, six, six and a half mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very naughty at that time mm. and uh, I did something which uh, mm. for the first time really mm. angered my father mm. Mm. and uh, we were living on the second floor of a mm. flat in Mumbai mm. and he just lifted me, mm. he took me to the balcony and said I'll throw you now oh. and that really shook me. Mm. Uh, I, since that day I have been mm. quite scared of my dad, uh, mm. even though he was very friendly actually. Mm. 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 So uh, uh, that was the turning moment. Uh, yes, okay. Can you tell what was the inner image you created about you, the actual inner image? Image was I was totally powerless. Uh, I am powerless. And uh, I didn't want to show that. Ah, yes. So, you will create an alternative compensating cognition to show to others. What was that? Uh, Can you get the statement? Uh, that I, I started uh, building a wall around people. You, no, no, usually it will be opposite. I am powerful. You understand? Usually it will be related to the inner image. Mm. Mm. And then, what was the uh, uh, image you created about others and life? Uh, I perceived the most uh, elders or authoritative figures as uh, scary. No, uh, life. No, no. It's about life. Mm. See, the, you, exactly the statement you created, tell me that. Okay. Yeah. All you guys are getting it, the online cities. The uh, uh, cognition I had was life is very uh, scary. Mm. And That's it. And Immediately, what are the actions you did after you came out of your bad hands? Mm, immediately, on that moment, I, I think I just ran to my mother. But no, that uh, is uh, one thing. Okay. Then but, uh, but later, I started uh, mm. avoiding tactics mm. or uh, mm. not confrontational, but mm. not to show any weakness. Mm. Uh, not to show any weakness. Mm. That is the Ahankara statement. You understand? Yeah. Getting it? Yes, sir. So all of you are understand behaving politely is nothing but not to show any weakness. Yes. How many of you are able to cognize? So throughout your life you will be behaving politely. You understand? I can say that behaving politely is one of your strength. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, Swami. <laughs> <laughs> so now, come on, let the whole group tell me how many of you understand, cognize what now doctor said, the three statements clearly. See, that behaving politely is great. It has produced many good results in your life. But it is out of wrong reason. So it won't bring fulfillment. You understand what I am saying? Any quality you develop out of that compensating alternative cognition, it will bring success. It may bring success, but it won't bring fulfillment. Okay? Whenever you build a yes, disempowering inner image, you can't actually use the same to relate with everyone. It is too suffocating. So you build up a pseudo image with which you will bring the hope of survival. Understand? See, even politeness is nothing but putting up a strong front. You understand? Many times we do not allow anybody to enter into us. That is politeness. See, politely saying no. 
<laughs> it is not that always rudeness is required to say no. Ankara can never fulfill you because it is based on incompletion. Let me expand on these three statements first. image the image you project to others alternative compensating cognition and your image about life and others all of you are able to cognize these three concepts anybody who is not able to cognize these three raise your hand okay that's good so we'll move to the next. Now, I wanted each one of you listen. Now I wanted each one of you to sit with you and dig out from the earliest memories of your life where you experienced conflict relive the whole situation in the mirror sit with the mirror and relive the whole situation again the earliest memory of conflicting situation note down in that situation your actual inner image statement your actual inner image statement, your mamakara statement means the statement about you. Second, your actual outer image statement, your ahankara statement, the statement you, how you project you to others. Third, your actual image about others and life, your statement about life and others in your life usually life is out there to harass me life is out there to get me life is always denying what I want it can be anything now identify and write down all the three statements clear 